My name is Thomas Sundergaard, I'm from Denmark. I have just been in America and it was so amazing. Jesus is the same no matter where we are. I have a website called thelastreformation.com and I believe we have to see a new reformation of the church. And the reformation is about getting the church back to the Bible, what we read in the book of Acts. The book of Acts is like a diary of the first disciples, how they were living. And if Jesus is the same today, and we believe that, then our lives somehow should look the same as we read in the book of Acts. And like the book of Acts is a diary, this video is also a little diary from my trip to America. In the nine days I was there, I visited six different states. And I made six different videos from the places where I was. And uh, on the website thelastreformation.com or YouTube you can go in and you can see the whole video from the different places. But on this video you're going to see a little journey, a little clip from each place. God bless you and the reformation has already begun. In Boston now we are just landing and I want to just show that this is the same here. And I found some girls there and, come and you have probably the bag. And how many years? Two years. And she has probably two years and one leg is shorter in order. One, what leg is shorter? shorter? Can you go back, sit with your back? Legs. Yeah, legs. Can you see this leg? Come here closer. Can you see this is shorter in order one? What's your name? Shelby. Shelby. God, I thank you for healing right now. Look here. Now it's not shorter. Try to stand up. Try to feel the back. How is the back? <laughs> Where's the pain? What? Really. It's gone. Yeah. Okay, you have it two years and now it's gone. <laughs> it really is. I am the yes. It really is. And you saw how we went out. How is that? <laughs> <laughs> and now you. And, and this is the same. But I, I try with the legs because sometimes it's also the problem here. Girls with legs. Yeah, and then you go off. Go in place right now. Now it's the same. Thank you for giving me everything you to go. Fine. To finish. <laughs> 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 Wait, that's so weird. How long time have you had that? Forever. Like Forever. And now it's gone. <laughs> what? That's so weird. <laughs> Are you like a magician or something? No. The, Are we what, what I'm doing here is just what is written in the Bible. But the, for many people it's tradition. But, but it's about knowing God, and the Bible says, lay the hands on the sick and they're going to get healed. You don't, you have not seen this before, and you don't know. And I'm hey, God is real, man, I'm telling you. There, how long time have you had that? Okay, I can feel it now. God, I think you can see the pain now. I can feel the pain now. I can feel the pain yeah, it's loose. Where's the pain? Now, now it's gone. Now it's gone. Where do you have head? Where do you have head? Right here. You have right now. Go on, thank the healing thing because the pain is going to go. Try to feel the head. No. Now the pain is gone. Now the pain is gone, yes. The pain is not going to come back either. It's like two seconds. Right here. Two seconds. 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 Two seconds.
This is the power of the Holy Spirit. This is God. God in Times Square, New York, every place. This guy, I've just met God before he got healed and he came to me and, and, and he had other problems in his life and I just pray and he got set free from demons, something lifted him in the middle of Times Square, New York. Love it. God is the same. What, what happened? I feel like I'm going to float away. Oh, you're flying now. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> this is the Holy Spirit. Something came out. Yes, yes, Something came out. And often, often, often we are carrying things around, but we have to be very specific and pray there yes. and command it to yeah. leave. And I feel, when I pray for you, I saw the Holy Spirit came over you, your eyes was going like this. And suddenly you start, I didn't know if you were on the suddenly you start to breathe. Uh, yes. Something yes. like. Something was well, losing yeah. and it was peace. coming out through your prayer. Yeah. And then you feel like the peace and now... Yeah. How is it? <laughs> you look beautiful. <laughs> and this is what we read in the Bible. It was out on the street where people were. Jesus, he didn't build like big churches and want everything to have inside there. He wants us to go out where people are to show the kingdom of God, not by words only, but by power. Is that not true? Yeah. Right, I know that truth. How are you right now? I am, I am lighter than a feather. I am just best moment I've ever had in my life right now. Oh, amazing! God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> Brandon, I just met you, mm -hmm. and you're a Catholic. Yes. And and I shared about Jesus, and we talked, and you believe Jesus, uh -huh. but you never like met him the way. Mm -hmm. And now I just pray for you, and you got you feel the Holy Spirit, and Absolutely. you start to speak in tongues. Totally. Yeah. How is that? It was wild. It was great. Um, I never felt anything like it before, and I didn't even think it was possible. It was yeah. overwhelming. Yeah. And now in a normal afternoon, mm -hmm. out shopping, mm -hmm. you got bad touch for the Holy Spirit. Right. You have not thought of that this morning when you wake up. It's the last thing on my mind. <laughs> it's crazy. But this is what God wants to do. Mm -hmm. This is what God He wants us to see the power of Him. Mm -hmm. And we have just been here, we see people set free, we have seen people set free from demons, we have seen people heal, and now you have just experienced God and saved, baptized with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. It's going to change your life, my friend. Mm -hmm. I believe. <laughs> sharing with me that what she noticed while you guys went out is not the long prayer or anything. Yeah. It's just that the faith, when you yeah. have the faith, God moves. Yeah. That's what she's, like, she's telling me now. Yeah. And we're going to find somebody. Look at this face. Yes. Soon she's going to pray for the first one who's going to get here. So yeah. That's good. Can you feel the pain? Can you now? walk on it? I can. Yeah, it feels that's good. Do you feel the pain now? No. No. <laughs> Take your crutches? Sure. If you hold them. This is new for her. Are you Christian? Yes. Okay. Everybody can pray for sick people. This is what it stands in the Bible, and, and for her is to hold a cross. She has never done anything like this before. <laughs> but everybody can do it. And what we are doing is like we are training and encouraging people to help people to just pray for people, to just see the power of God. And Amen. For you. Awesome. Yeah. Get back to the Holy Spirit is as normal like a yeah. But for many, it's not, no, it's not normal. But if you look in the Bible, it is. Do that. You're just talking like a Say what happened. Uh, the Holy Spirit came into me. That was crazy. Yes. <laughs> and it, yeah. <laughs> can you see it? I can see her face. We go out in the power of the Holy Spirit, and people are getting saved. Heal, set free, baptized with the Holy Spirit. This is everyday life. And we went to this place today, Plymouth Rock, to show you who live in America and the rest of the world, that this is the new thing God is doing. Yeah, we have just had a meeting and what just happened? Hi, my name is Pauline, I'm from Rhode Island and I was just healed. I've had a stroke back in November and before I could not raise or lift anything on the left side, including my leg. I could not step over a sidewalk or anything higher than maybe two inches. So you were paralyzed in the one side? I was paralyzed on the complete left side. And also in the face? From the stroke all the way down to my feet and my right arm. And you have been walking with this? I've been using my walker. 
Can you see you walk now? And I, I was not even able to lift my leg to get into a bathtub, but it absolutely feels 100% wonderful. I mean, I am ecstatic inside. I am so full of joy and happiness. I give the Lord all the glory and all the praise because He is the mighty physician. God is good. God is great. Let us see you walk. Come on. God is great. God is great. I will march. March for the Lord. Have you prayed for sick people who have got healed? Do you want to do that? Come up here. Now, you open your eyes, you lay the hands, and say, God, thank you, because everything is going to go in the name of Jesus. Amen. How is it playing now? It's gone! <laughs> Look at the face. <laughs> <laughs> What is this? This is discipleship. Oh. And you have it all over the body. Yeah. Okay. Can you hold my hands without this? I think so. Okay. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Close your eyes. Go right now, command this sickness, leave her body right now in the name of Jesus. Right. Go! Spirit, go! Start to walk. Go, go, go. I command strength right now. Strength to the body right now. Strength to the body right now. Strength to the feet right now in the name of Jesus. Be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus, I command healing right now. Leave her, leave her, leave her, leave her. Leave Wow! Come on! Go! Go! Hallelujah! How is that? You pay this go? Go! Go! Who are you now? Come on! Free! <laughs> Right now, Lord God, open these ears. Open and the Lord. 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 I feel so full of the Holy Spirit right now, it's not even funny. I, I feel so full. It was amazing. How is that? Try to imagine, you go out on the street and here you meet Jesus. Uh -huh. Often we wait in the church, in the church for Him for, to come to us. Yeah. And the whole time He's been outside waiting for us to go there and meet His people. How many years have you been in church? I've been in church since I was nine years old. And this is the first time ever you did what you did right now? First time ever I've laid hands to heal the sick. I've laid hands on people to to uh, for pray for them to be filled with the Holy Spirit, but never to be healed. This is the first time. It's amazing. You love it? Oh my gosh. Corbin, it's awesome, man. It really is. This is just a small thing, but even a small thing is amazing. He has a stuck nose. Yes. Try to breathe. It's like this. And then call him because it's going to go. Try. Thank you because it's going to loosen right now in the name of Jesus. Try again. Wow. Sir. Wow. That. It was. It oh went away. Oh my God. Listen. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So even a small thing, you have a big impact. What is wrong with you? Um, my lower back. Lower back. Has a lot of problems. I for hernia exists. Okay. Right there. How many years ago? Um, thirteen. 13 years. And you also have a problem with hearing? Yes, it's a genetic disorder. Okay, we pray for your lower back first. And you feel the pain right now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Command this lower back to be healed in Jesus' name. Try to feel the pain right now. It's actually good. Better? Is it gone? 100%? Yes. Gone? Clearly. It is good. Yeah. Well, how are you back? It's good. That's good? Amazing. Cool. Down shopping. Now we pray for other things. You have a problem hearing? Hearing? Or something it's in your head? It's a genetic disorder, the nerves, yeah. my whole family. But it's where? Where? I, I pray. God, I thank because you are going to set her free. I command this to leave her body right now, Holy Spirit. Set her free right now. Go. 
Go. Go! Lisa? I can hear you. How is that now? I can hear you. <laughs> so that's pretty cool, but I can hear you right now. <laughs> I'm and and uh, you're in shock. Walmart, you got heal in back problem many years and you got heal with hearing. Do you know what this is? This is what we read in the Bible. Jesus went around healing the sick in everyday life. And this is it's not only to come to church, it's everyday life. Do you love it? Yes. I think that I actually was, came to this place for a reason today. Okay. You guys. And do you love it? I love it. Love it. It's awesome. This is the first time in life you also pray. Yes. And what yes. you pray for the healing and she got healed. You could also pray for that, but I pre pray for the healing because that it was a demon, it was some spiritual, and you, you, you felt that. You went down because something left you. What, what do you say? We just prayed for a woman who had fibromyalgia in her back and arthritis in her hands, and she was completely healed in her hands and in her back and in her neck as well. Praise God. And down here in the mall? Down here in Walmart, in Walmart. How is that? Amazing, because it's just at Walmart. Is it the first time you did that? Yeah. Do you want more? Yes. Diane, you have just been prayed for by some young people. What, what happened? Uh, my pain is gone. What was wrong with you? I have fibromyalgia and I have arthritis. But right now I am pain free. Praise the Lord. How long time have you had that? Uh, about 12 years. And now it's gone? It's gone. And this is why you are buying bread? <laughs> yes, sir.